Hello Pisces. Welcome to another Mystic Unicorn reading. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. Let's dive right into this Pisces. I'm going to give this five shuffles for you and we will see what messages we have for you in regards to love at this time. For my Pisceans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Five shuffles here. One. Two. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is three. Four. And five. All right, Pisces. Let's see what we've got for you, yeah? What love messages do we have for Pisces at this time? Please, Spirit. That's enough. Okay, well, there's one more that came out. Uh-oh. All right, Pisces. Well, you have four cards. Only one of them has come out face up. It is the Seven of Swords. But Pisces, I don't think this is new because what I'm hearing for you here is that you're dealing with the advent of some sort of trickery, lies, deceit, okay? Um, you're dealing with it. You're moving forward with from it somehow, some way. Overall energy here is the Eight of Wands, all right? So you're dealing with this. Uh, you could be confronting someone about it, or maybe someone is confronting you. Take it as it resonates, guys, yeah? But, yeah, that's what I'm getting so far. You're dealing with it. You're dealing with it and, and, and you're dealing with it head on. For some of you, that's commendable because some of you I'm feeling specifically are not ones to really like or, or try. Uh, 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 hmm. Some of you try to avoid confrontation. Some of you here, all, even though you, you try to avoid confrontation, I feel like you're taking the lead here. Some of you, somebody, some, somebody within the Pisces group is taking the lead. Okay, they've been lied to for the last time. They've been deceived for the last time. Someone, but but it's not really just that though, Pisces. I feel like somebody is coming clean about their transgressions. Maybe that's you, Pisces, or maybe it's, you know, your partner or your person. Let's look at what's underneath the surface here. Knight of Swords, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Yes, yes, somebody is coming clean. Somebody wants to make things right. Somebody wants to make amends. Somebody wants to apologize. Someone may be actively, and, and, and it's funny, Pisces, because what I was, I was picking up on a pretty aggressive energy, which was what was saying to me that somebody here is really taking the lead on this. Well, there you go. You have the Knight of Swords. I'm getting that for somebody here, there may have been some sort of substance abuse involved um this may be a family member or this may be your partner somebody somebody here has some sort of addiction to substances and that has been wrecking the relationship but somebody is coming clean about it i do feel like somebody stole something from someone else to feed this addiction um my heart goes out to this person if this is someone in your life that is suffering from addiction, my heart definitely goes out to that person. Regardless as to whether whatever they have done, Seven of Swords, to feed the addiction, my heart still goes out to them because that there's a reason for that, okay? But somebody's coming clean about it. Somebody wants a new start. Somebody wants to apologize. Somebody wants to make amends. Somebody is maybe even asking for help. Okay. Let's move forward here, Pisces. What's next for Pisces, please, Spirit, in this situation? What's next for Pisces? Two more. Okay, two more cards, they say. What's next for Pisces? There you go. There's one. Oh, okay. Well, you got, <laughs> you got three more. Uh, so you have the High Priestess here. That does represent you, Pisces. 
Now, um, also though, if you, I, I, I do feel like this is the, the strongest thing you have going here, or at least for this, for this reading, Pisces, is addiction. I feel like that's really the strongest. That's the strongest thing that's coming through for this. And yeah, Pisces, there is a little bit of a guessing game. You know, I, first and foremost, I want to be very clear that I am not passing judgment on anybody with any sort of addictions, least of all substance abuse. I, um, I, have, I have known a few people in my life, you know, as an empath does, that have struggled with substance abuse, okay? And even though those situations are terrible, heart-wrenching, and you feel awfully, awfully betrayed by these people or by these circumstances, it, they're not bad people at their core. They're struggling with something. They're traumatized somehow. Okay, there's a reason behind it. But for those of you that have been in these situations before, you know how much of a risk or how much of a gamble it is to help somebody through this because you never really know, you know, you never know what's going to happen. You never know if they're going to relapse. You never know if they're going to fall off the bandwagon, whatever. So there is a bit of mystery involved with this, the high priestess. And what I'm hearing here is that you're just going to have to trust the universe on this one. Maybe even trust your gut, trust your intuition. What are you truly feeling about this? What is, what am I, my intuition is telling me that this person is genuine, that this person really wants to try, that this person really wants to heal, that this person really wants to make amends. Okay, but let's see what else is here. Ten of Wands in reverse, Nine of Cups, and Judgment. See? You see, you are just going to have to trust the universe here. Because if I hadn't pulled all of this under uh, energies on, underneath the surface here, right? These are all energies under the surface. If I hadn't flipped these over, you would just be left with this, the high priestess. And you would need to trust the universe. Also, you would need to trust your gut and your intuition, which I do feel like is all saying to you, go ahead with this. Try, right? But here's your confirmation that it's time. The Ten of Wands is in reverse. Someone is wanting to, underneath the surface, somebody is wanting to release these burdens. The Nine of Cups, somebody seeks happiness. Somebody seeks contentment. Somebody seeks healing under the surface. Judgment. It's time. It's time for this to happen. It's time to let go of these fears, this pain, this strife. If this is family, it's time to let go of this rift within the family. It's just time. Let's get some clarification, shall we? Three shuffles here. One. Two. And three. You know what's so interesting? I've noticed, Pisces, that you are the only sign that I, that, that consistent, well, not consistently, but you are really the only sign that I can remember of recent dates that have been getting these messages surrounding substance abuse. It's very interesting. That's just an observation. It's not a judgment. Although I understand that Pisces, you're a very emotional sign. Okay. And you're very loving. You're very caring. And you feel very, very, very deeply. People hurt you a lot because they're unconscious. They don't do it on purpose, but that can lead to substance abuse. I, I get it, Pisces. There is no judgment here. This is this is a shame-free zone, okay? All right, but um, let's look at the Ten of Wands in reverse. What's the Ten of Wands for Pisces, please, Spirit? The Ace of Swords, which is in reverse, okay? the Ten of Wands for Pisces? Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And the Queen of Cups. Okay. Okay. And then overall energy here is the Six of Swords. 
So, what does the Ten of Wands in reverse mean for you, Pisces, represent for this situation? Well, it represents a situation in which somebody was carrying the burden, carrying burdens here, of lack of truth, lack of honesty, lack of integrity. Okay, Ace of Swords in reverse. Obviously, we have the Seven of Swords here. Somebody's been lying about something. Somebody's been stealing something also, potentially. Take it as it resonates. This Ace of Swords in reverse could also be the original lie or the original deception that pushed this person into self-destructive energies, into substance abuse, to cope. I feel like there was a, I feel like this is trauma from a very early age, maybe even childhood. Okay, I'm getting that from the Ace of Swords in reverse. Eight of Pentacles in reverse is a lack of willingness to try or a lack of willingness to work on it, a lack of willingness to pull yourself up, all that kind of stuff, right? I'm actually seeing the Eight of Pentacles as a rehab program. So there may have been some failed attempts, attempts at rehab in the past. Or maybe this was a, a refusal to even get help or get some sort of whatever. But now you have that with the Queen of Cups. So someone is either ready to and willing to or has already come to terms with what they're feeling. And thus, we have the ability to move forward here. Six of Swords. It's just time, Pisces. It's time. Trust this, please. I'm not saying that you have to let this person back into your life to the same capacity right away. But at least hear them out. That's the least. I mean, that's the absolute least that you could do. You could at least hear them out. Maybe, maybe part of their healing process or part of their recovery or rehab is talking to you. Is saying, I'm sorry. Is coming through and saying, look, this is what happened. This is why it happened. I, I don't expect you to forgive me right away, but I at least need to be honest with you. It's part of my recovery. Like the least you could do for them at that point, if you don't want to do anything else, the least you could do is hear this person out. Compassion is key here. Uh, I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm sending you all so much love. If you are new to the channel, uh, and uh, in I, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys, <laughs> I gotta pull myself together. I'm getting emotional. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I highly recommend that you subscribe. Welcome to the Unicorn Herd. If you liked this reading, if you would like to claim of the any of the energies of for your own, or if you would just like to support the channel, definitely go ahead and spank that like button for me. And as always, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I love hearing from you guys. With that said, I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Beautimus. Bye.